Not a place I have to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can say I am what I am. Marching here today with us all as an ally. This is your day. This is your time to be recognized. 14 years ago, myself and another woman got together in Cork. And like the great Martin Luther King, we had a dream. That dream was somewhat recognised in the Gender Recognition Bill but unfortunately not everybody was included in that. Today is the first day of the rest of your lives and we will get there. We will absolutely get there and we will march with you as allies till that day comes. Tenny, I have waited a long time for my Gender Recognition Certificate. I waited over 50 years. And my worry was always that I would die without ever achieving that day. And I'm so glad to be alive and well here today in front of all you, my peers, you know? When I started Tenny with, with Sarah, it was for everybody to be included. But unfortunately, nothing comes easy in Ireland. Our organizations were doing a great job. And the Tenny that's today, I have to recommend them for the splendid job they've done in collaboration with Belong To. The report that came out was wonderful and this will lead to recognition for all of us and maybe in 2019, 2020 we'll finally all be marching as equal citizens of this Ireland. So well done to everybody. I'm going to end that now. Uh, I wrote a little poem, you'll see it on the site, in honour of this march today. It went something like this. If it will be your will, and we will march over the hill, and on the other side is equality for all, and the chains of agony will be gone forever, and we will be free to be silent no more. I dedicate this to this transgender prize today, and I thank you all for allowing me to march with you. Thank you. A hell for life is really important. We don't need to wait to someone be tortured or to someone be almost murdered to say, hey, it's okay for you to come to Ireland. We need to do that proactively. There are countries that, unfortunately, the raid and the attack for trans people happen. In Brazil, 90% of trans women are forced to sex work because they can't do anything else because of discrimination. No one accepts a trans woman working in a boutique or a trans woman working, uh, selling something. It's not acceptable there. It's, uh, and then these people go to sex work. And now I will talk a little about intersex. I am intersex. And also another issue that we have in Brazil is that uh, intersection mutilation are allowed and are advised by the Medical Council in Brazil. So they put in the hand of the doctors to mutilate the children, to adequate the children in the binary. And we know that the binary don't exist. In a recent... In a recent survey in UK, 60, uh, sorry, 56% of people that identified as intersex were trans, the biggest majority non-binary. This shows how much the doctors are wrong uh, trying to assign us to one side or the other side instead of allowing us to live a complete life being intersex, being without the binary. The fight for transgender health, the fight for intersex uh, lives, the fight for the end of the hate against LGBTQ people in the world, the same fight. I believe that we all are together making history today. 
I am live streaming uh, to Brazil to, to, to show all groups that I am part, to all my friends, how wonderful the people here in Ireland are. And I am very, really, really grateful of being in this country and of being adopted for people as wonderful as all of you. Thank you. My world that I want to have a little pride in My world and it's not a place I have to hide in Life's not worth a damn till you can say I am